हेलो वेलकम गाइस इट्स मी आफ्टर लॉन्ग वेरी टाइम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर लुकिंग अबाउट सम आर्डिनो दैट यू कैन प्ले और फंड विथ बिफोर दैट हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड टर्न ऑन नोटिफिकेशन आईकॉन एंड जस्ट सब्सक्राइब इन दिस वीडियो वी आर लुकिंग एट टेक्स टू स्पीच conversion using arduino in my previous video i posted there you can see actual output uh, in this video we can see how to process that using arduino you know r3 uh, that as you can see this is the flow that we can follow today so first we need to Open Arduino IDE. Let us do that. As you can see in front of my screen, there is Arduino IDE. I I open. Now the second step is write a code. As you can see, write a code. We open Arduino IDE and in that we have to create a new file we are creating new file closing others then we have to write a code as you can see i pasted that code in front of you you can also able to see that code after that we need to add this uh, begin write to code and uh, note that uh, there should be no any mistake and that so that program let's do that save i am going to show on my desktop save after that i need to do add tiki.h library file that file we have we need to download from internet and uh, then uh, go to the sketch then include library add zip library then select that tinkly master.zip file let's do that sketch include library add zip desktop i have downloaded on desktop that thing killer master then open in case if you don't have any libraries then what you need to do as you can see i have already installed in case you don't have that library just select that name copy open an open internet browser then paste that code and as you can see library download is appear on the bottom in that we are need to go github page it taking time to load in this page uh, click on that code icon and download zip i hope you understand how to download that zip file from internet and how to add that after adding what we need to do compile the code for checking any error in that code or not let's do that to check that code uh, we need to press on that verify click icon it's verify program now as you can see the progress in green bar
इट टेक इन टाइम टू वेरीफाई As you can see, it taking time to load or to verify the program. In case on your PC or computer, it done very fast. It taking time. as can you see the code the code is successfully compiled and it's say done compiling now let's see what is the next step connect to the arduino through usb cable to the laptop or pc after that check the which port is connected or use and let's see that what does that mean before that make sure that you have chosen a uh, proper board example in case i have set a different board so i am correcting my board once again i do know you know and then i need to verify again compile the code make sure that you set a proper board because it is very very important as can you able to see i have completed compiled the sketch sketch for arduino you know r3 that board i have selected now i am connecting arduino to the my pc i have connected now i need to select the port as you can able to see com7 in bracket arduino uno is my port and that port connected to the arduino uno then i need to select the board after that we have completed stage 5 and we know uh, com7 is the port for arduino you know after that let's see what is the sixth step upload the program after upload the program let's upload the program for uploading uh, we need to uh, say that upload uh, arrow left right arrow key upload button uh, now we are uploading the program to the arduino and you can able to see the status progress status in taken and you can also able to see arduino you know on com7 is our board is selected and connected to the com7 you can also able to see that on the bottom of the screen uploading upload done now we have successfully uploaded the program on our arduino id on our arduino uno board now this is the connection diagram we need to follow this is arduino uno potentiometer amplifier ic speaker power supply or if you don't want to use these all components 
you can also able to create by using simple if you have usb power bluetooth or aux speakers that need power supply and audio input then we need to connect that audio jack to the main pin to the d3 and ground pin to the ground of the audio jack and we need to power these speakers after that you can able to see listen or hear that sound come from our arduino that's it for today video hope you are able to do that experiment in by own once again i recall every steps that steps we have completed open arduino id write a code add tinker library then compile then can arduino board and then upload and after that at the last we have do the connections according to this or this i use uh, in my project for this because i have the speakers so it's simple to use uh, that's it for today See you in the next video.